Hey what's up, it's Seagull here. Today I'm going to show you how to add some cool effects to your cursor or your mouse or whatever you want to call that the thing you use on your computer to click on stuff. Uh, well that's what I'm going to show you, add some cool effects to that. And uh, I'm going to show you, let's go right into it actually. Uh, and there's a few applications I want to show you guys to acquire this effect. Um, the few of them are free and a few of them you have to pay for. Of course I'm going to show you guys the free ones first probably because most of you are interested in that. Uh, the first one is called iCursor and you can download it from this webpage here, it's totally free. And you can go ahead and download it here. I'll leave, of course, all the links in the description as usual. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys uh, how it looks. And uh, there we go. As soon as you launch it up, nothing pops up. Just uh, There's just a mouse effect. And uh, there's a different effect, even though you might not see huh, where you have to click to change the effect and stuff like that. But um, the way you change your effect is you click on the iCurse itself in the, uh, in the dock. Sorry. And you sh you'll see in the menu bar iCursor will up here and then you have the effects here and here you have all the different effects you can choose from. Uh, so there's uh, tons of different effects. You see um, Propeller, I've never tried that one. Pretty red. I like this one, nice color. Uh, so you have uh, quite a few different uh, effects you can choose from. And uh, once you've chosen your effect you can also customize it which is pretty cool. So for example this uh, the smoking area effect you can go on iCurse itself and click on customize effect and then a window will pop up where you can choose the amount of particles the time it takes uh, the frame rate stuff like that so it's pretty advanced you can choose quite a few uh, different options and you know tweak it to uh, your liking so that's the first one I want to show you is iCurse I think it's pretty cool since it's totally free and it does quite a few uh, few effects so that's pretty cool so the next one I want to show you guys is a really simple application. It's actually a system preference panel and it's called Cursor Zoom. So you probably already guessed it. It uh, only does one thing. It zooms on your cursor, which is pretty cool. It doesn't really add any effects to your cursor, but I thought it was pretty cool. You can download it from this page. Of course, link will be in the description and it's totally free. So go ahead and go into your system preference panel. Click on Cursor Zoom. Now your system preference panel has to restart to make it work because it's a 32-bit application, but it will still work fine. And here you can just simply drag the slider to make your mouse smaller or larger. And uh, it's pretty cool. It updates automatically as soon as you start dragging, which I thought was pretty cool. And you can remember the settings for every time you log back in your computer. Your computer just starts off with a big cursor, for example. And uh, of course, you can uh, reset it to the default size, which is pretty cool. So it's really simple. It's called Cursor Zoom. And, uh, you know, I thought I'll still show it to you guys since it's free. If you might want to use that. For uh, videos, for example, you might want to, you know, zoom on your cursor for certain videos can be handy uh, as well. Uh, so that's it for the free applications. It's the only ones I found that were really free. I found some trials out there. You could only use them for five days or something like that. So I didn't really want to show you guys uh, that. But uh, the, these two applications I showed you are totally free, of course. Uh, and you can just use them as long as you want to. And uh, I've got two other applications I want to show you guys uh, that you have to pay for, unfortunately. Uh, but they're pretty cool. The first one is Star Trail. Now I got it right here, Star Trail, and you can buy it from the Mac App Store, and uh, it's a pretty cool. Uh, has some pretty cool effects. Uh, now you have uh, a few different uh, preferences here, where you can choose, you know, the particle shape, and uh, you can do smoke. Uh, you have smoke, leaves, Apple logos, which you know is pretty cool actually, um, and you can uh, also change the size. So I, I want to see how this works. This is pretty cool actually. I, I didn't see this. These Apple logos. Uh, in a nice big size. <laughs> I think that's really, really cool. You can have them rotate as well, apparently. Pretty cool stuff. And you can give them fixed colors. And of course, you have diamonds, uh, spades, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it has have quite a few uh, preferences here. You can just tweak and, uh, you know, just uh, make it how you want it to be. You can change your mouse sensitivity also. It's built into the application. I think that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, so it's called... Uh, Star Trail, and unfortunately you do have to buy it. I think it's $2 on the Mac App Store. And uh, one thing I really like though about this application is um, sometimes you want to click on a button and then there's tons of particles on it and you can't see it anymore, what's written on, on the button. So uh, the cool thing about Star Trail is when you stop moving your mouse, all the particles disappear so you can easily read what's uh, under your mouse. Sometimes, uh, for example, eye cursor, um, sometimes there's so much particles I can't read anymore what's under my mouse. So that can be a little annoying, but uh, that's Star Trail. Pretty cool applications. Has some uh, also pretty different uh, cool effects. So next up we got Pinpoint. Now this is a pretty popular application on the Mac App Store. I know that. So you might have already heard of it. 
Uh, but uh, I've got the Mac App Store open right here and as you can see you can uh, buy this application. Unfortunately it's $5. I personally don't think it's that worth it. Uh, $5 you know just to change your cursor but depending on what you use this for it might actually be uh, useful to you and it has some pretty cool effects so uh, I'm just going to show it to you guys. I got it right here. Uh, pinpoint. And um, as you can see here, this is the first time you start it up. It kind of gives you an introduction and uh, where you need to click to set the settings. But as soon as you launch it up, you'll see there's a little effect. This is the default effect you got here. And you can go in the menu bar and go to the settings uh, where you can choose tons of different things. Uh, you can choose the pointer and you have a few different effects here you can choose from again. And uh, they kind of rotate around your, uh, your cursor here. Uh, this one you can't really see it that well. Oh, there you go. Here you can see it pretty well. And this application has been around for quite a while. It used to be free back on the Mac OS X Leopard, uh, but now they made it paid. Uh, and you know, you got kind of a few effects here you can choose from. And you can choose the color, and it uh, updates that. I think it's pretty cool. You can, you know, choose the speed of everything, the size. You can make them really big, transparency if you don't want them to show up too much. Uh, you know, the rotation speed, speed at what they rotate. You can choose all that stuff and has a pretty cool uh, few effects again. You know, you can choose from a, a lot of different things. So, you know, that's totally up to you. Um, this one is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. It's called Audio Tracker. And when you talk, the, the louder you talk, as you can see, uh, the bigger the cursor. So it, uh, it notices uh, the sound or it catches the sound from your microphone and the more sound it has around you the the cursor the more it like moves as you can see so it's pretty cool it's uh, synchronized on the sound I thought this was pretty cool and this is definitely unique to this application I haven't found that on any other application so that's definitely something uh, that's you know uh, pretty cool in my opinion but uh, again you know you can just choose from all the different effects here so I'm not going to go over all the effects but uh, yeah that's pretty much it you have a few extra uh, options here but uh, I'll let that to you guys if you want to buy this application it's pretty uh, straightforward. But uh, that's all the uh, effects I want to show you guys, or cursor effects. I found one other application as well that I re don't really want to mention. It's called Hot Mouse. Uh, I don't have it personally. I haven't tried it out, but uh, it looks pretty okay. But you have to buy it again from the Mac App Store. But I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's also $2, uh, the same as uh, Star Trail. Oh, this one's actually $4, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, I think Star Trail is definitely uh, more worth it, or Pinpoint even, but uh, this one doesn't seem that amazing in my opinion, even though I don't personally have it. But, you know, just an other application you might want to check out as well. So uh, that's all the cool effects you can add to uh, your cursor on Mac OS X line and earlier as well. If you have any other application that you've heard of uh, for cool cursor effects, especially free ones, be sure to drop me a message. I definitely want to check them out because I can find, uh, can seem to find really good free versions except uh, for uh, iCurse of course which is a, a good free application but anyway um, this wallpaper by the way will be in the description since I know a lot of you guys will ask for it and uh, that's pretty much it be sure to check out my two latest video down there uh, follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook and circle me on Google Plus and uh, once again I'll thank you a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later peace